If they put that on, it's a joke for the simple reason, right? It's not even a proper fight, is it? No, it's a gimme, isn't it? It's a gimmick. It's a gimme fight and They might as well put you and Spencer Fear in on. Yeah, they might as well put me and Spencer on, aren't we? At two hundred pounds, I've not heard out from him. <laughs> But what we're going to say to you, Rico, right? You know this fight in America, this Antonio Brown Logan Paul. If they do fight, right? How much will the zone be charging for it? And are the NFL? Sorry, you know the NFL. Yeah. Do they have a big following in America? NFL football is. Do they do a good number? Oh, it's, the, it's the biggest sport in the US. I mean, uh, yeah. I think last weekend the NFL um, semi-final. Doing it. Right, so if they do that then, and that could they easily get a million new subscribers to the zone? Yeah, easily. And is this kid a popular soccer player? Yeah, he's a, he's a very well. He's is a, he he's soccer a or known. the rugby one? Yeah. The, the, um, the ones where they've got helmets on. Yeah, exactly. Helmets. 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 Yeah. So basically, we play rugby and they play that, and they have helmets on. <laughs> so this guy, this guy, yeah, go on. I need to, uh, sh I need to shoot off to All right, then. and stuff, but um, yeah, I mean, ultimately, they'll do good numbers. That's the main thing. Well, that's do, good do then. Good numbers if they get on, but it's a bit of this, you know, slap in the face to the sport. That's the. Yeah, that's bad news, isn't it, Rico, that if that happens, and I don't think it's good for the sport at all. Yeah. I don't think it's well, good for the sport. Good speaking to you, and good no speaking problem. to all hardcore fans. No problem. All right, Rico, you take care. Take care. All right, cheers, Borgie. Give, give me a ring over the weekend. Yeah, we'll do. Cheers, Cheers, bye. mate. Bye-bye. Bye. That was my good friend, Rico Helier. He uh, started this channel with me. Uh, 26, 26 months ago. Uh, uh, I don't really know what to say, to be honest. Antonio Brown against uh, Logan Paul. So we've got Antonio Brown. He's in his debut. And he just took up boxing two weeks ago. And he's going to fight in three months or is it 12 weeks 11 weeks he's going to fight against a guy in his third fight but his second as a pro at cruiserweight uh, I'm assuming because Logan Paul's a cruiserweight on Dazone right and they're hoping to cash in on all the fans money you know because they're like NFL and Logan Paul's popular and that to me in boxing but Eddie Earn he's just gonna say do you know what i've got to get numbers in now coogan michelle phelps rob tebbert the three musketeers all very good at the job but is any one of them going to speak out about this to eddie and say eddie come on do you think it's is it trashing sport is it diluting the product what what we've got because i think it is I think it's I think it's diluting the product, and uh, that's what I think. I think it's diluting product, but what can I do? It's uh, it's one of them things, isn't it? It's one of them things. Uh, but what can you do? It's uh, it's not gonna. It's not going to last forever, this, is it? This we had to earn at the moment. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to last forever. I think that uh, they're rinsing it. And, uh, you know, it's just liberties. It's one liberty after another. And it's just going on and on and on, isn't it? And uh, what can I do? What can I do? Uh What can I do? But onwards and upwards, as long as I'm doing my job with Den and and helping Den's fighters and build our show up and building my channel up, I'm not really bothered what anybody else does. But when something like that happens, uh, it kind of like bothers me a little bit. 
it really really bothers me but you know that that's boxing for you isn't it it's uh it's one of them sports that gets everybody at it uh you know it's uh looks like we've got an opponent for josh whale now uh we had an opponent that pulled out uh even though he's we met his wage demands massive purse money as well it's probably the biggest purse money that anybody's earned since i've been with den honestly that's how big uh the uh the purse were and uh it's, and that's in five years. Nobody's earned that kind of money as an opponent or a, or a, a home fighter since I've been with Dennis April 2015. Nobody has had that money. 57 months, nobody's earned that money and it's been knocked back. Darren Tetley, knocked back what he asked for to fight Tyrone Nurse and he knew about it for three weeks. He's not that back. Apparently he's got a better offer. But whatever happened to people standing on? What happened to people standing on? Eh? What? Don't people stand on anymore? If they agree, agree something, don't they stand stand on? I, that's what drives me mad. That drive be, drives me mad. Not as mad as my children getting up for school in the morning. Unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> But uh, but other than that, I'm all right. But uh, it's looking good for twenty uh, first of Feb. It's looking good for Josh now. Uh, opponent all agreed. So what date are we on here now? What date is it today? Have a look. So basically, we've got. 20, 21st, 20th, 19th, 17th, 14th, 14th, 21, 35 in it. So we've got five weeks today, five weeks today. So when this video goes out, it'll be about five weeks to go. Five weeks to prepare for this kid now. Get this kid out of the way. Josh only came in April, his first fight with us were June. Get this kid out of the way, 4 and 0 then with us. And then we can look to put him in a proper fight. Uh, that's the downside of it, in, in it really, in boxing. And I'm glad that people pulling out, but I'm glad that Mick and Josh didn't mention it on radio now uh, when they had a chance last week because I said, Mick, maybe best off not mentioning it, uh, even though the, fine were, the fight were more or less done and dusted and this is what happens isn't it I don't know what's going on behind the scenes whether somebody's tried to block it or anything but you know I've seen I've seen all, all the uh, what's gone on and Dennis stood on and he matched it he matched what they wanted or gave them what they wanted and Darren Tetley you know and uh I'm a bit disappointed really with Darren Tetley but then again I don't know am I because Darren Tetley I don't know he's uh, he's let his send down on he really and do I really want to work with people like that I don't know I mean, you know you're supposed to say no no I don't where I come from, you say, no, I don't want to work with him, Darren Tetley, now he's done that. But in boxing, you're supposed to say, oh, he's a good kid and probably something's happened, but I hope to work with him in the future. No, I don't. I don't think that them people can stand on. He's not got a good name, has he, now, in my book? No. Why do I want to work with him when he's agreeing fights and, and asking for X amount of money and the money's delivered to him? He's known for three weeks. And then at last minute, he's just pulled out. What sort of person does that? Darren Tetley. You know, I had some direct messages away. I didn't know when I was on Twitter a few months ago, but you should be ashamed, Darren Tetley. But I don't know what your situation is or if you've been offered more money. Well, fair enough, but if that's, is that what it comes down to, money? If you've been offered more money, good luck to you, but 
whoever's scuppered the fight, they probably feel really good about themselves now, don't they? So, you see what goes on in boxing industry, you get offered some money for a fight, and then Eddie Hearn might come knocking at the door and say, do you want to fight so-and-so? And you go, oh, we've been offered this much to fight Tyrone on a Dennis Hobson show. And and he'll say, send me a, a screenshot or whatever. You send him it and he'll go, oh, I'll match that and I'll throw you another couple of grand on top. Now, considering people are getting 10 grand to fight for British titles, what he got offered, you should be really happy because no belt online. You should be really, really happy. In fact, well, they were, weren't they? But it's not come off, has it? So it's one of them things. It's boxing. Uh, nobody's trusts each other. Do they? I don't trust nobody. Well, a small group I trust. He's Rico's one of them. Terry's other. Ozzy Smith I trust. Smido. Could be here all day naming people I trust. Uh, there's people I don't trust as well. But like I said. There's people that want a torpedo channel, but I've you know, got a prayer. It's not going nowhere. We're only just getting warmed up. I'm like Michael Caine, aren't it? Is it a Michael Caine? What's he called? What's that gate guy called? Condor man. Michael Summer. I forgot his I forgot his name. He played he was played Condor man, didn't he? Once he didn't he play Frank Spencer? Well he played a superhero, didn't he? In Condor Man, I'm like him, man. Our Condor Man, you remember that? <laughs> I remember that as a kid. But onwards and upwards. Shout out to Josh Whale. I hope your scan's gone well today, Josh, at the hospital. You start your sparring next week. So fingers crossed, you're all right, Josh. Because last thing we need is the show collapsing. So I hope Josh's scan's gone well. Uh, saw Tommy Tommy Frank earlier on on telly, uh, hospital uh, an hospital going round. Uh, that's what Ali used to do. So well done, Tommy Frank. That's good. That well done going and visiting young kids in hospital. So good luck to Tommy. Good luck to Tommy Frank and Sheedy. They're going to Ukraine to spar a world champion. And uh, shout out to Innovation Alloys and uh, South Yorkshire packaging so you've got a 30, 60, 73 you've got about 70 minutes here so in three parts so alright so have a good weekend uh, I don't think I'm going to do another video today so peace out <laughs>